We have new details tonight about a man who allegedly caused quite a bit of property damage last week in a Myrtle Beach neighborhood. A jail records show 23 year old Herman Avalos Perez was charged with his second DUI. Ali Espinosa joins us live and Ali, a family you spoke with says the driver crashed into their house. What else did they tell you? Eric, Myrtle Beach police confirm Herman Perez Avalo crashed into two homes here on Wedgwood Street just exactly a week ago today. You can see it, see it in the surveillance video I'm about to show you, but neighbors I spoke with here tell me they're worried that he's now out of jail. First, a tree and a mailbox. Then a house. You can see from this surveillance video the white truck that causes the damage is completely off the road. Brittany Craven says she was inside the house hit with her friends playing video games a week ago today, waiting for Hurricane Adalia to pass through. She says she heard a loud crash, expecting to see a fallen tree. Instead, she saw the hood of a car. We all ran around and we got the guy out of the vehicle. He popped back up, tried to get back in the car put it in reverse to continue driving, and that's when the other neighbor came out of his house and started to assist with it. He didn't even realize his property had been hit at the time. He had only saw what happened over here. Myrtle Beach police say the driver is 23-year-old Herman Perez Avalo. Public records show this is Perez Avalo's second DUI offense. It seems like this is something he's used to doing and probably would definitely do again. Through a Freedom of Information Act request, we also learned Perez Avalo refused a breathalyzer test and has no driver's license. However, public records also show he bonded out of jail on Sunday. And they're letting him out free again to possibly do this to somebody else. And I would, next time you never know, it could be a fatality instead of just somebody's property damage. But as Avalo is expected to show up in court at a later date, it's not exactly clear what that exact date is. We also did reach out to the Myrtle Beach Police Department for more details on this investigation, but we have not received any other new details other than the ones we just showed you. For now, live in Myrtle Beach, Ali Espinosa, WMBF News.